Habibi, come to Dubai. What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV and today we're coming to you from Dubai. We're gonna show you the best things to do. Let's do it. We put together a list of the 53 best things to do. So let's get into it. And now here we are at the Museum of the Future. Located right along Sheikh Zayed Road, it is 95 AED for adults and 47 AED for children. This museum here shows you what to expect from Dubai moving forward into the future. It is a tourist shaped building with windows in the form of a poem and Arabic calligraphy written on the outside. An incredible landmark. Next up, we're headed to the Burj Khalifa. This is the tallest building in the world and ticket prices start at 149 AED or 41 US. Standing three times taller than the Eiffel Tower in Paris, it's 828 meters high. That's 2,716.5 feet. Believe it or not, there are plans to build an even taller tower in Dubai along the Dubai Creek. And just down below, you'll see the Dubai Fountain right in front of the Dubai Mall. And this is a free attraction, costs you nothing to watch this show. And it starts every day at 6 p.m. and goes until 11 p.m. for five minutes each show. There is an afternoon show between 1 p.m. and 1.30. Now here we are at the Dubai Mall. It is one of the world's largest shopping malls. Some consider it still to be the largest mall in the world. Just depends on the statistics you're pulling. But either way, this place is amazing. And it's located right next to Burj Khalifa. Now here we are at the Dubai Aquarium at the mall. Ticket prices here are 145 AED. It includes the aquarium tunnel and the underwater zoo behind the scenes access and of course the glass bottom boat and much more also in the mall is the waterfall this is a heck of a water feature that you got to check out at least ride the escalator up and down and take some pictures and a video it's usually referred to as the human waterfall due to the sculptures of the men diving down now here we are at Skyview Observatory. And right next to Burj Khalifa is another high rise you can go up to called Skyviews Dubai starting at 10 a.m. in the morning to 10 p.m. and it's 90 AED for adults. There's a glass bottom walk you can do and a glass slide. And for those of you who are feeling extra adventurous, you can actually go and do the edge walk, 540 AED or 140 USD. And a good area for nightlife around downtown Dubai is the Gate Village, Gate Avenue. If you guys want to hang out in this area at nighttime, Gate Village is the place to be in downtown. In between the Ritz-Carlton and the Four Seasons Hotel in the Dubai International Finance Center. Now what we're going to do is ride the Metro. The Dubai Metro is the most cost efficient way to get around Dubai. There are two classes. There's the Silver Class and then the Gold Class. I usually go with a mixed blend between the gold and silver, putting about 30 AED on the gold card and then 30 AED on the silver card. In the spice soup, we're going to check out the spice soup, the gold soup, and some of the other markets around the area of Old Dubai. Old Dubai is probably one of my favorite places to hang out. My friend here is from Afghanistan and he told me all about, what are these called? This is the Nenez Katra, using only for the oil. Yeah, so when you come to the Spice Souk, stop by and see my friend here. Yeah. He's in front of Royal Ford Gen, and yeah, you can get one of these and one authentic. The yeah, he's also Dubai style. You come to Spice Market and come to Gold Market, very famous. And now here we are at the Spice Market. Please come inside, have a look, some nice incense and perfumes we do have. It's like a rich smell, we can say. Mm. Take it out, it smells so. Uh, this is some, amber wood, amber yeah. Wood, something. And can I mix it? Yeah, you can mix it. Yeah, Actually, very strong. whenever you add, you have to put only a little bit, only you have to apply. You come to Dubai, you can come here to get a nice essential oil. Yes. Like especially typical Arabic wood perfumes. No, what is it? Macadamia nuts. Macadamia. Oh, yeah, okay. Interesting nuts. 
Uh, this is sulfate for skin allergy. For skin allergy. And this one is indigo for jeans color. This is pomegranate flower. This is sea salt. This is Arabic gum. This is turmeric. And this is frankincense. Yeah, the guys working down here are doing a great job and I really enjoyed learning everything about Arabic spices and scents. And I bought some cologne and spices from these vendors. And now here we are at the Gold Suit. This is my third time down to the Gold Suit and every time I come down here I usually buy some silver like I did today. I ended up getting a silver bracelet and some new earrings. And if you see any of these guys around the gold souk, stop in and say what's up. Maybe they'll give you a good deal if you tell them who sent you. And just across the creek is the Dubai Museum, a great place to learn about old Dubai. Now we're going to Al Fahidi. There is a couple historical neighborhoods that you'll want to explore, especially in the evening time. Al Fahidi is definitely one of those. For those of you who want to take some fun pictures in an old town area, this is where you're going to want to go. And here we are at the old historical neighborhood of Al Sif. Al Sif is right next to Al Fahidi. Hello everyone, welcome to my friend YouTube channel. This is Al Sif Mall and this is my shop Pashmina House. If you want something dressed as Pashmina, you come here. This is camel hair you showed this me. This is camel hair but machine made, not handmade. So if you're looking to do some authentic Middle Eastern shopping in a souk without breaking the bank, this is where you're going to want to go. The old Dubai area, Al Sif, highly recommend it. And then you can easily take the Dubai Creek taxi across the river. It's going to cost you around three to four dollars. It's not very expensive and it's a cool thing to do because you get great views. Got some fresh shawarma chicken. Now by this time you probably have an appetite, so that's why we're going to talk about some Dubai food. Definitely trying shawarma, also kebab, doner kebab, but they also have Arabic cuisine. So do indulge in the Middle Eastern cuisines while in Dubai. And now here we are at Green Planet. The Green Planet is an interactive indoor zoo where they have over 3,000 species of flora and fauna for you to check out and explore. It's multi-leveled going up and down, four or five levels. Really impressive, and you get to see the animals up close, some that you may have never seen before. Ticket prices vary depending on season, but it's around 135 AED for one ticket. You can get them cheaper online, and I would recommend doing so. And just down the road is going to be City Walk, a nice area to walk around, take in a movie, and enjoy an evening in Dubai. Now here we are at La Mer Beach. Now there's two different beaches. There's the South Beach and the North Beach. Right now the South Beach is undergoing construction and renovation, but the North Beach is open. And in between there, there is a, a walking area with restaurants. These beaches are very nice because they have a bit of a boardwalk and some cabanas to hang out at, as well as showers and bathrooms. This is like a high-end Jumeirah beach. And now here we are at Jumeirah beach. Jumeirah beach is the largest stretch of beach in Dubai. You will find plenty of beach real estate for lounging and sun tanning. And now here we are at the Dubai Miracle Garden. Now this Miracle Garden is only open from around late October, early November until April or May. It truly is a Miracle Garden. It costs around 95 AED and you'll see everything from an Emirates plane covered in flowers to the Smurf Village and so much more. And now here we are at the Global Village. Global Village is an amazing cultural experience where you can do shopping from areas all across the world. It did open on October 18th this year and you can expect it to be open until around late April. And tickets are 30 AED per person. It opens after 4 p.m. They have live concerts. They also have a Ripley's, believe it or not. My favorite place here was the area known as Africa. I really enjoyed walking through there and doing some window shopping and buying. Now we're headed over to Dubai Marina. Now this is one of my favorite areas to get a hotel and just hang out. Whether you're nearby JBR or on the other side of the marina area, there's so many different hotels to explore here. And the area at night comes to life with colors. Really a cool place to hang out. So 
can do now is actually take the tram. The tram is connected to the Dubai Metro Null card, so you can easily get around the marina area using the tram. So another thing to do is rent a supercar and drive it around Dubai Marina. Depending on the supercar, the prices range anywhere between 700 AED to 4,800 AED per day. It just depends on the specific supercar you're looking for. Just make sure you get some legit insurance. And here we are now at JBR, Jumeirah Beach Residence. Let's go take a look. Now JBR Beach probably is my favorite beach in all of Dubai. If you're looking to find action, and entertainment, lots of people. This is a place where tons of people are hanging out. People watching is a thing out here. And then of course, getting involved in some water sports, whether it be a banana boat or a dinghy or doing one of these aqua packs, a jet ski. They have all that down here at JBR Beach. You can also just lounge out here. And if you are trying to lounge or get a chair, you probably want to make sure you're staying at one of the hotels that offer the chairs, otherwise it can be expensive. And another popular activity down here in JBR is going to be Skydive Dubai. They typically land around the address hotel, or at least that's where I saw them landing, and they take off over there towards the Palm Jumeirah at the airport. So if you're looking for exhilarating action, Skydive Dubai. If you wanted to do a tandem skydive, that's going to run you around 1700 AED and if you wanted to do a tandem skydive plus medical insurance that's around 2099 and if you wanted some great views over JBR you can check out the Flying Cup Dubai it's around 80 AED per person and that's a combo meal or something that includes drinks and snacks while you're up there getting in the view uh, it's just a cool activity to do with 360 degree panoramic and while you're down there in JBR, you'll see the Aquafun water flotation just sitting out there. It's 155 AED per person. And yeah, it comes with a life jacket. Definitely want to wear that. Now let's head out to the Palm Jumeirah and check out the many activities they have out there. But the Palm Jumeirah in and of itself is a thing to do and explore. One of my favorite activities is go to the top of the palm and get a great view. Now here we are at the monorail at the palm. Now tickets start at 5 AED all the way up to 10 AED depending on how far you want to go. For example, if you want to go all the way out to the Atlantis, it's going to be more expensive than if you wanted to go out to Nikhil Mall and then back. So I do recommend getting an all day pass if you can. But if you just want a single uh, one way, go and come back, that is an option. And here we are now at the Atlantis Hotel. The Atlantis Hotel does have a few activities that you can do out there, including the Aqua Venture Water Park or just go to the Wave House. Now, you're not going to get full access to this place unless you're actually staying at the hotel, but they do have some activities available to the public. And here we are now at the Lost Chambers Aquarium. The Lost Chambers being one of those activities, and that's around 135 AED for adults and 95 AED for children. Here you'll find several large chamber aquarium tanks that you can walk around. This is still probably my favorite aquarium in all of Dubai. And as I mentioned previously, you have the top of the palm here at the top of the Nikhil Mall. They call it the Nikhil Mall rooftop. Prices begin at around 100 AED for adults. I recommend coming up here at sunset. Maybe booking ahead of time will be the best option. All right, now we're here at West Beach. West Beach is a bit more of a ritzy JBR beach, a little bit more laid back with lounges and a few clubs down here. So I would definitely recommend at least checking out West Beach for the hotels. Some of those hotels include the Hilton as well as a Marriott and several others. That now here we are at the Madnet near the Burj Al Arab. It's going to be expensive to do shopping here, so this is high-end experience, but I do encourage you to do the boat ride around the Madnet. It's cool because the water comes in from the Persian Gulf. Now here we are at the Dubai Frame. This is again another 
Now here we are at the Dubai frame. This again is a sunset activity. Prices start at around 50 AED for adults and 20 AED for kids. It's really a cool place to go even at night to get the views around at the top of this square. Right next to the Dubai Square is going to be the Glow Garden. It's 65 AED. So this is a fun place to bring the kids, I would say, but also a nice place to walk around and take some pictures because the Glow Garden's quite colorful. Now here we are at Ski Dubai. This is definitely a cool activity to do, especially on a hot day. You just cool off and put on some winter clothing, even though it's scorching hot in the middle of June, you can be inside here hanging out. It also brings you out here to the Mall of the Emirates. Now here we are at IMG World. General admission price is around 345 AED for adults. And here you're going to find everything from roller coasters to themed activities and a few other fun things for the kids and you kids at heart. And if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please do give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel as we continue to show you around Dubai. And another popular activity is heading out to the desert here in Dubai. They have many different activities, including camel rides which can be fun to do across the dunes, especially in the winter months. And then they have four by four options that you can cruise around getting one of these dune buggies. That's always a good activity. Or Prices for a four by four start at around 1300 AED for an hour and then two hours for 1600 AED. That seems to be the best value. And then you can do a hot air balloon over the desert and prices vary depending on the company, but I found them for as low as 679 AED or $185 per person. Now here we are at the Blue Waters Dubai Eye. Prices start at around 130 AED for adults and 100 AED for children. However, at sunset, you can expect the prices to go up to 180 AED for adults and 150 AED for children. And if you feel like exploring some more of the futuristic Dubai stuff, head out to the Expo 2020 on the Dubai Metro and see what they got cooking out here. Next up, we're headed out to Abu Dhabi. It's about an hour and a half drive to get out here and you'll find the big giant mosque, which is amazing architecture. They also have Ferrari World and, and Yaz Island, Warner Brothers World, Sea World. So maybe making a day trip down to Abu Dhabi from Dubai could be something you're interested in. Abu Dhabi is a bit more laid back than Dubai. By the way, I'm currently in Doha, Qatar, and I am going to be making a travel guide from here, but I would compare Abu Dhabi and Doha to be similar. So do be on the lookout for the Doha and Abu Dhabi things to do videos. I will post links to those in the description and in the comments. But just to tell you right now, some of my favorite activities to do in Abu Dhabi, obviously the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, Ferrari World at Yaz Island. You also have the Yaz Island Water World. You have Warner Bros, the Louvre Abu Dhabi Museum, which is a phenomenal museum. And then you have the observation deck at the 300 Yaz Mall and several beaches. The population of Abu Dhabi is around 1.5 million, whereas the population of Dubai is around 3.5 million. So you can see Dubai is very much the big brother, although Abu Dhabi is the wealthier emirate in terms of GDP. And when I say that Dubai is the big brother, I mean that in terms of being a larger city with more activities for tourists, but really the capital of the Emirates is Abu Dhabi. In order to complete this travel guide, by the way, I would recommend 10 days in Dubai. You could do seven to 10 days, but I would say in order to do most of the things you're seeing right now, including a day trip to Abu Dhabi, 10 days at least. And this is a good look at the indoor theme park at Warner Brothers. 
And while in Dubai, you'll notice that there's many different salons. Now there's a gent salon and then there's a ladies salon. In my case, I obviously went to the gent salon. That means men only. And you can get a great haircut, trim up, whatever you're looking for, beard trim, etc., right here in Dubai for a very reasonable price. Another idea is rent a bird scooter or a lime scooter, a bike, and then just cruise it around Business Bay or JBR Beach or any of the beach areas. Really a cool activity to do right along the canal or Dubai Creek. It's a whole lot easier to cover a lot of ground on one of these. The area around Business Bay is definitely up and coming, so you should explore. Now we're here at the Mall of the Emirates. There's definitely a lot of malls here in Dubai and on a hot day, whether you're exploring around the Dubai Mall, the Mall of the Emirates, or another new mall like the one down in Marina. Really an activity that you should consider. There's actually a total of 96 shopping malls in the Dubai area, so really no shortage of malls, let's just say that. Now, if you are planning to come to Dubai, I would recommend you going over to our other channel, Island Hopper TV Travel Highlights and watching the seven walking tours that I did from across Dubai. These are more interactive virtual tours. And I show you all around some of these places like the Miracle Garden and the Global Village up close. Like I said, I'm currently in Doha. I'm going to Nepal next. So those videos are coming soon. Do be on the lookout for those. Thanks to our subscribers and our channel members. See you guys on the next one. You can click Abu Dhabi or Doha next here at the end screen.